estimate how long it would take a, bring a cup of water to a boiling temperature in a typical 600 watt microwave oven uh, so let's this might be important for your everyday experience of uh, heating stuff in the microwave uh, of course we're assuming here ideal conditions where all the energy ends up in the water which is not necessarily the case okay uh, so uh, watt that's the power right that's how much energy per unit time uh, is that uh, microwave uh, providing how much energy per second is it supplying for the water now uh, we know uh, that uh, the amount of heat required uh, to uh, uh, to uh, uh, the uh, to raise the temperature of the water by a certain uh, temperature change is Q equals uh, MC delta T the mass times the specific heat times the change in temperature okay now if we assume um, that uh, we have a cup we can change a cup uh, one cup to kilograms uh, easily uh, and uh, you know uh, or you could just look this up and uh, you could find the direct conversion uh, let, me see, let, me, let me see how much is it in, uh, in uh, kilograms okay so every cup is uh, 200 or po uh, uh, 0.236 uh, 0.6 liters and we know that water has a density of uh, one uh, gram uh, per uh, milliliter so why don't we just make this uh, let's just make this milliliters be easier so this is times 236.6 and this is milliliter and this is one gram per milliliter for the density of water so that means every gram weighs uh, one milliliters uh, and so we get the cup to be about 237 or let's just say 236.6 uh, uh, grams okay so this is the mass and uh, we know that uh, the uh, temperature let's say initially uh, the, it's at uh, a room temperature uh, which is uh, 27 degrees or a little less uh, let's just say 25 degrees 25 degrees and uh, we know that the boiling temperature of water is 100 degrees so that means uh, the delta T would be 75 degrees uh, we know that the specific heat uh, is uh, for water is uh, it takes 4,186 uh, joules to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree. So that's called the specific heat. And, um, and now plugging all the stuff in into Q. So then I get Q to equal going to change that to kilograms so I could divide it by a thousand so let's just say 0.237 kilograms times 4186 joules per kilogram Celsius and the change in temperature is 75 degrees Celsius and you could see how the units work out and I get the energy required uh, to raise the temperature of water uh, by that amount of degrees as uh, plugging this onto the calculator uh, 74,406.2 joules um, I know that the uh, power of the microwave is uh, 600 watts uh, 600 watts so that is uh, 600 
joules per one second and if I need to supply 74,406.2 right so so this is the power of the microwave so I need to supply 74406.2 joules how much time would it take if I'm supplying 600 joules every one second and you could see here dimensional analysis without really memorizing any formulas you just have to look at the units I need to make the joules cancel so I need to flip the ratio of the power uh, so that I can have the joules in the denominator and I would get my answer in seconds this minimizes if you really understand dimensional analysis and physics and how the units work out that can save you a lot of memorizations uh, because a lot of these formulas can be intuitively uh, reasoned out through units and other things uh, okay, so this would be uh, 124.01 seconds. Uh, divide that by 60 to get it in minutes. And so this would take about uh, 2.07 minutes, which uh, is uh, reasonable, except like we said, considering. Uh, this is what you sort of experience depending you know on how many watts your microwave really is except we're talking about ideal case scenario but uh, because this energy does not necessarily all flow into the water here you could be having some energy losses within the walls of the microwave um, a friction uh, in the electric circuitry uh, so on and so forth Okay, and the last part is explain why no heat is involved in this process. Well, heat always flows from a hotter object into a cold, colder object. There is uh, no hotter object in this scenario. The energy or the heat uh, is uh, seeping through the water in the form of electromagnetic waves. In the form of electromagnetic wave energy. That's why. So... Uh, so no hotter object relative to water here that's losing the 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 heat to the to uh, quote unquote the heat to the water so that's why this is uh, there's no uh, there's no um, heat uh, like the question says there's uh, no heat is involved so here uh, key no heat that concludes this question